No, just kidding with you. Okay, today, guys, I'm going to be reviewing this. Um, let's take a look at it, actually. Make sure I say everything correctly. Get rid of this. Get rid of this bad boy over here. Okay, so today, we're going to be taking a look at this. Well, if I can mess with it right now. We're going to be looking at this LCD meter. It looks like this. I mean, you can't really see the screen on it. I actually just have a hard time finding it, but it's right there. And um, it's just an attachment that you put on your uh, mod. So this is the top pin where it screws in. That's where the top where your RDA or your tank will screw in. And this is the part where it screws into your actual mod body. And this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to show you how to use it too because I was really lost on using this thing at first. So I got the top of my dill, which like in my first video, if you've seen it, um, I have all this Illuminati stuff, but I forgot to show this this off. This is sweet. It has like the little ancient Egyptian little symbols on there along with all the rest of the other Egyptian Illuminati symbols on here. So that's your top screwing part. You take your LCD reader. Now you screw that bad boy in. Maybe. And it fits on just like so. Mod body. Also the reader. And then you take your tank, which I don't have one because I don't mess the tanks. I just vape with my RDA and screw it on in there just like so. it down pretty nice and then that's how it's set up whenever you get done setting it all up but I'm actually gonna take this off to show you how to use it there are some there are some pros about this to some extent but there also is some cons about this doesn't make this product not a good product it is a great product it really is it could use a little work though but we'll get into that here in a moment so let's first off go ahead and start off with pricing on this bad boy Okay, that is not it. This is it. So this uh, Elive LCD, and it, it's going to be on Viper Vapes because that's where I'm getting some of my stuff at. So Viper Vapes, Viper Vapes, Viper Vapes, Viper Vapes, and it's called the uh, Elive LCD Digital Ohm Meter and Voltameter. It is fourteen ninety nine, and that's in U.S. currency. I don't know how that's switched over to whatever you know wherever you live and um, so yeah I mean it's just fourteen ninety nine, about 15 bucks and a little bit of change for tax um, it works real great the display is great on it it's big it lets you see everything you need to see um, it did not come with instructions that is definitely a con because I got it and I was so disappointed because it didn't seem like what I wanted. It didn't seem like what I had ordered. I was like, I wanted this so I can work on my builds. I can see where my ohms at so I can work on my builds better and build better coils. And I can just go ahead and read it right there instead of having to get like one of those ones where you have to take your RDA off and just screw it onto the top and then check your ohm reader. Because I don't have one of those, I'd always have to go to the shop in town to go and check that out. And I didn't enjoy that at all. And I'm sure that a lot of people don't enjoy that. But for the price of $14.99, you can get something that can help you out with that. But there is a con about it. And I will get to it here in just a second. So first off, whenever you're messing with it and you get it out of the package, which it'll come wrapped in this little bubble wrap thing. Don't know where it is. I kind of lose things a lot. Um... It kind of sketches me out sometimes because I feel like something's about to break. So this weird sounds whenever I grab it and stuff. Like I don't know. I don't know. Just I don't like that. So here's your here's your screen right there, and you press and hold your button as if you're gonna fire up your mod, and it'll light up the screen. I'll go ahead and move that in closer so you can take a look at it. And here, Let's see if I get that closer. Really get that in there. 
Right now it says no. Because there's no there's no resistance. I don't have a tank or an RDA on it. So it says no and then it shows the ohm symbol at the top. And it says I'm running at 3.8 volts. Is what my mod's running at. Um, and whenever you're looking at the voltage, you have to press it and hold it for a second, and it'll change to the voltage, and then it'll flop back and forth from your voltage to your ohm resistance to your voltage to your ohm resistance. But as soon as you let go, it's going to power down the screen. And you can see this here if I can show it correctly. So it says no, and then it says three point whatever the ohm or the voltage is. Like I said, my my camera's not that great, guys. Like as you're watching this, you're probably hearing this weird beeping sound. No idea what that is. I'm terribly sorry for that. No idea what it is. It just continues to do that, and I'm just using the webcam that came with the computer, so I don't know what that's all about. But the more I do these videos, and the more subscribers, and the more people I get following me, I'll probably invest in a webcam, you know, so I'm not annoying the hell out of you as you're sitting here watching my videos. But as long as I keep talking, it's okay. So, yeah, and uh, it's a pretty nifty little thing, you know, and uh, it's going to say no at first whenever you're doing you know, your. Just your battery and stuff. So let's go ahead and pop this RDA on. Take a look at it. Make sure it's tightened down pretty well. And then find this thing. So it fires up. And it says low. Low ohms. And I continue to hold it for a second. Um so yeah, I mean Here's where the bad thing. Here's that con I was telling you about earlier. This is where it comes into play. This thing only reads, and it states it here on this website I got, which I'll get to you. I'll get to that in a second on how I got here. The testable wattage is greater than, or less than, or equal to 100 watts. So it can only read watts in between 100 and lower, or at exactly 100 watts. So if you got a build going down and you got more than 100 watts going on, you're not going to be able to read it on this thing. I think they can upgrade it and make it to where it can read higher wattage. That's what they should do, in my honest opinion, because that'll help. Because some of these guys, you know, some guys even build their own boxes, and that stuff's sweet. But those are higher wattages than a normal, you know, just little mod like this. So definitely something that they might want to look into is the E-Leaf. Uh, it is like the E-Leaf. Uh, manufacturing company um, and they ran through Viper vapes and things like that and uh, says uh, the maximum current it can have is less than or equal to 10 amps and uh, resistance range is from and here's where it gets bad resistance range is from 0.5 ohms all the way up to 10 ohms so you can only read your ohms from 0.5 all the way up to 10 ohms which kind of sucks, it's especially if you're like me. Like I said in my first video, I am a cloud chaser. Ohms have to be pretty gosh dang low in order to achieve some good smoke. And my ohms are low. Like this this build I have set up here, I didn't personally build this. I had a friend of mine build it because I was seeing how he built his. Because I'm, you know, whenever I get a webcam and everything like that, I'm going to start working on building my own and showing you guys how to build them and things like that and working on bettering myself in coil building. Well, I build my own coils, but I had him build me this one, and it's a 22 gauge canthal wire, only wrapped four times, and it's just easier to work with, and I just, I don't know, I just find it cool looking, it's great to work with, the cotton you can run in there very easily, it's just pretty sweet, and so that's what I'm, I'm smoking on that, 22 gauge canthal four wrap, and it works pretty great. Uh, didn't put out as much smoke as I want to, so I'll probably build something a little different. But he did a good job when he built this for me. So, yes, definitely this company, E-Leaf and Viperbape, could find, uh, you know, and I'm not trying to, you know, down E-Leaf. They are great. They're great. You need to check out their website, and I'll put that down in the description. They have great quality items and technology to use for your mods and things like that. So definitely check them out. They are very good. This is a great product. really is a great product. But like any other product, it can use improvement. And they need to make it to where it can read low, low ohms. I'm talking like from like 0.1 all the way up until 0.10. Or 10 ohms is what I should say. My bad. So that is definitely a con, especially if you're like me. We're after building things. We want to build these bad boys. We want to get some low ohms. 
and we want to see what ohms we're working at without having to go to the vape shop or having to buy one of those little deals because this is something sweet you know that I can just screw on to my mod itself and I can work with it and see my ohms and my voltage so I really do think that they could work on making it to where the ohms can read a whole lot lower but great job on this product it is great um, I probably won't be using it much because I just don't I don't build builds that are high on ohms I build them low just like I'm sure everybody else does I want my ohms low so great product though something to invest in especially if you're not if you're not you know looking for those low low ohms definitely something to get definitely this this is in your this is where you need to go um, but if you're after low low ohms and things like that don't get this e-leaf reader um, if they ever come up with an update or contact me then I'll let you know I'll post another video saying hey they got it to where it can read low ohms holy and balls but that's not where it's at yet so and I'm sure that I can find something else I'll be ordering new things in here pretty soon see what we can get but Viper Vapes got this off of Viper Vapes looking for ohms anything above 0.5 and up to 10 definitely a way to go go get it it's great displays awesome looks nice attaches on your mod great thing So, and it's, I mean, it's very easy. The threads on this are great too. Threads work very well, no problems. So, I also want to talk about something else. So, I was on Viper Vapes, and that's where I got this stuff from. A lot of my last video and this video, and the ones that are going to be coming up here pretty soon. Um, this e leaf reader is actually ran through Viper Vapes, they sell it, but it was made by the e leaf, uh, Isomoka or whatever, I don't know the website. But uh, it's eleafus.com is what it is, and it. I mean, they have good stuff. They have good products. You know, they have e-liquids. I mean, they have atomizers, batteries, e-cigs, just different stuff like that. And uh, you know, I mean, I'm looking at it now. I mean, it's, it's great stuff. It's nothing bad. You know, they got some good stuff on here, and it's pretty awesome. And um, that looks pretty sweet. Colorful clouds e-liquid, 30 milliliter. That looks pretty sweet. Um, they got different chargers on here. Um, they got. It looks like to me they have like a lot of natural flavors, like you know, like this one right here, uh, Rainbow Tobacco E Liquid. Um, and it's not that bad. It's a 10 milliliter, 7.99. That's only eight bucks. I mean, that's pretty good for a 10 milliliter bottle, if you ask me. Um, yeah, I mean, this this that definitely has some cool stuff on it. Um, definitely a site to check out. I would definitely check it out if I was you. They have. Um, all kinds of stuff like right here through their listing they have the i stick 50 watt maximum output of wattage of 50 watts huge capacity of 4400 uh, milliamps uh, wear resistant stainless steel thread spring connector that's awesome I mean that's some great stuff they got going down there and um, I mean it's not that expensive you know um, some people might not like some of the stuff on here, but it's really just what you're after. So go and take a look at it, see if it's anything you like. If it's what you like, then it's pretty decently priced and it's all good. Um, so yeah, good job on making that. That thing is great. It does need to be able to read lower ohms, especially for us builders out there that we're going after the low, low ohm builders. You know, we can't read. It's just telling us low. You know, um, it does. I mean, it does tell you that it's low. You know, so at least it does tell you that. But it is a great product. So. If that's something you're after, go out there and get it. Um, so that's pretty much it. And to have a good one, you know, hit this like button down here, or like button down here, and then subscribe. And I'm still trying to get this ball rolling, trying to get followers, trying to get people to get on here. So please share this, show people. And um, that's pretty much it. Have a great one.